Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Fikaya and if this is your first time seeing my face, how are you doing? If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. So today's video is about the travel updates things you need to know before traveling to North Cyprus because a lot of people are being sent back from Cyprus back to their country because of the silly silly mistakes like this so make sure to watch the end and don't forget to subscribe if you are new give this video a thumbs up and comment down below maybe your experience or something so other people can also learn from it with no further ado, let's just go straight to the video. I'll be looking at my laptop here because I wrote them down on my notes, so I'll be telling you guys so I won't forget anything for you guys because I got you guys. So the first thing is book your return ticket. Before you can book just one way and come to Cyprus, but because of the way people have abused it and things that are going on, people have been sent back. And um I feel like um when I asked my agent like why, why must we like why must somebody book return tickets before going before going to North Cyprus. They said that some people are with fake documents and when they get to Turkey or maybe in their own country they might not recognize it. So when they not get to Cyprus they don't realize that it's fake documents and Cyprus um do not allow them to enter Cyprus so they have to be sent back and um, the airlines go to run at loss because they're not allowing them to enter the country and they have to take them back because the airline was all that brought them there. So they made it a rule that you have to book a return ticket. So in case if your document is fake or this thing, they'll just use that to send you back to your country. So make sure you book your return tickets. And I just I recently traveled and at Istanbul Airport they were asking for your return ticket. Like for the plane carry, they were asking where's your return ticket. So don't be part of people that do you get there and be asking for a return ticket because some people had to book the return ticket at the spot because the plane was not ready to carry them. So don't make that mistake. The next one is before you travel, before you leave your country, please download the Govern Day app. I'll put the name on the screen. So make sure you download it or you can check the website and you are going to follow the process and everything to get a code. I had an issue with the app. So you can check my what's it called my travel vlog to see my experience on how I worked everything house because I don't want to be diverting to the vlog. So I used the website instead of the app because of an issue I have. I had for you can try it out. Another one is everybody knows this one already, which is PCR test. You can't travel without a PCR test, so you need to do your COVID nineteen test before you leave your country and make sure it's seventy two hours. So don't do a week before or whatever. And make sure also that your PCR test has a code because when I was in Nigeria, the person was actually not traveling to North Cyprus, but the person in front of me was going to France and he presented a PCR test. And um, the PCR test does not have a code, so they, they said you can't go. And the thing is that it takes time for PCR test to come. You might be lucky, maybe in your country it's like faster, but if you're coming from my own country, it will tell you to, it will take six hours, it will take four hours, something for it to be out. And imagine your flight is in two hours, so make sure you get your PCR test done a day at least before you travel. The next one I want to talk about is um, if you're coming from African countries. Don't bother getting your vaccination there. Like, don't bother getting a vaccine because it's not recognized in North Cyprus and you still have to do quarantine. And I don't think it's safe for you to like get your vaccine in your country and come to North Cyprus and come and get another vaccine. So I don't think it's safe. So don't bother stressing yourself getting any vaccine. When you get here, come and get your vaccine. So I think that's way better because before I traveled, um, I was fully vaccinated here in Cyprus. So I didn't have to go through any stress or anything but those people that I um I know I know somebody that, that was vaccinated in Nigeria before traveling and everything so she's she has to do quarantine and that's just to round it up so make sure you don't stress yourself getting your vaccine in your country. They also made a rule that um from the first of March um quarantine and this thing are not going to be effective. It's a lie. I traveled, I came here after the first of March and people are still getting quarantined. Even my friend even uh, my friend that came here um, on the third of March she was still quarantined and the thing she complained about was that they were not checking up on her. They were they didn't I don't think they would didn't even give her the reason band or whatever. They were not checking up on her to call her if she's actually following the quarantine rules or anything. I don't feel like they don't want to collect your money I don't care. Because before they used to check up on people and ensure that they have been quarantined but since they made the rule they are still collecting the money from people and they are not checking up on it and there's one thing against that on the government they um, have hopefully i'm pronouncing it right they said no quarantine again and pp but you have to be forced to pay for the quarantine fee and um because they won't give you you have to get a code you have to present in the, um, the at the airport so you have to go through the process in the government app and in turkish 
in, if, it's, if you are doing it in Turkish language, what I know so that you will pay ninety tier. But as soon as you change it to English, like okay, shit, I don't get what this thing is saying. You just sell fifty tier. Like the price is different, and people are being forced to like pay. Like imagine because um, I, I'm just I don't want to talk too much in this place because I ranted it on my. Uh, I ranted in my travel vlog, so you guys should watch it. I'll put the link there. But I, but for me to, because I was, I almost paid seven fifty till that I was fully vaccinated. But to make sure to check that vlog. It's very, very important. But what I'm saying is that you, you still need to pay for the quarantine fee, even though they said um, no more quarantine again, and they are not going to check up on people. And it's just so messed up. This place. <laughs> Let's talk positively. Another what I want to talk about is if you are new student, please make sure you bring your necessary documents, your especially your high school diploma because they are just asking for it. At this temple, they were asking people, Cyprus will ask you. I want in Nigeria, I'm um, sorry, I'm talking about Nigeria, but before you leave your country, personally, that's what my experience they will ask you, well, what are the well, well, um. What are your documents? So make sure your document is complete. Check your school website to know exactly what you are meant to bring. Don't forget anything because if you forget anything, you are going to have issue like serious issue. And make sure that your documents are like aligning with each other because some people do apply to different universities and they like they apply to this one for a different course, apply to that one for a different course. Make sure that the document you are carrying with you is together. Like for example, if your admission is for See how you um EMU um Eastern Mediterranean University. Please don't allow your acceptance letter to be Cyprus International University. Make sure everything are like together because you have issues at the airport. At the end of the day, you might not end up traveling because when it comes to airport things, they don't really care. If you miss your flight, it's none of their business. So the next one is know your school courses, your school, your courses, your department, and your faculty. Even if you are an old student, still know your courses, your department, and your faculty because um. When I got to Ejan Airport, um, there was this guy in front of me. He was being asked questions, so I was actually hearing yeah, because they were communicating. Um, the officer asked him that, "Oh, what are you studying? In? What are you studying?" Then he said, "I'm studying um, what's it called, masters in how to go and study masters in the business administration." Then the officer looked at him and like, "Okay." Are you sure? What are you studying? Well, he was only talking confidently that, oh, I want to go and study a uh, master's in business communication. Then the man, sorry, the officer looked at his document and said, no, it's not, like, the, your document is here, we are meant to study political science, like, this doesn't add up, please go and sit in that side. Like, just that silly mistake, and things like this do not allow the person to enter the country. The person that was near me, like, because there are different officers, someone that was there, like I think near me, the person is like an old student. So the the officer that was attending to the girl was like, "Oh, what's your department? What's your faculty?" Even though the person is an old student, they are still asking questions like that. So please don't make mistake and just be saying something else because you've been sent back to your country. You just realize that just this same mistake is sending me back to where I'm coming from. So make sure you know all these things: your department, your faculty, your school, your course. Make sure you know that. At least make sure you know that. The most I'm going to talk about the lion. Okay, before I talk about the lion in the house, let me first talk about the quarantine pee. You need to for quarantine pee. What they do right now is home quarantine. So you need to make sure you get your home contract or your dumb contract that you present there and yeah, that you are going to be living there and you need to figure out how you be fed or something like that because I always advise people if you ask me what should you do I advise you to do dumb contracts especially if you don't have anybody here to help you figure out house or something because you don't want the situation you see the house online though you work everything out you pay for it and you end up coming here and you'll be seeing what I got what I what I paid for versus what I got so dumbs are like standard when you see the dumb is what you get like the picture you see in the dome is what you get and domes are just way better in my own opinion so if, you are, if you don't have anyone here but if you have an agent working out for you and the agent is advising for an house for a house then you can go for a house but dome project is way easier you can message them and there's no how they are even they see your contract in the, at the airport they'll just know they know the dome and they're just going to let you in so I advise you for dome contract and the last and not the least the lion in the house what is going on presently which is the um, full stuff oh my gosh a lot of things happened like with getting this full stuff in this match yes this month of march um a lot of people full stuff were being thrown out a lot of people full stuff were being charged 
a lot of people were crying some people they have new phones jewelries they were being thrown away by the officers in um Asia airport and the issue what i heard is that a lot of students are bringing in drugs through food stuff like i saw a news of like they put drug inside grounded pepe and those four students four individuals were caught so since then they've been really strict on food stuff and a lot of people's food stuff have been trashed out so Luckily for me, my food, none of my food stuff were trashed out. But there's something I noticed is that, and also my friend that came before me, our food stuff were not trashed out. The thing I noticed was that um, make sure your food stuffs are being packaged and sealed well. Like I got all my food stuff from the supermarket. My guy was from supermarket. My pando, all my food stuff were from supermarket. And make sure it's sealed because if you buy it inside black line or um, or maybe you just buy it from local market. Try and make sure that it's sealed. You buy all those transparent liners that will seal it. So when they carry it, they'll know that okay, this thing is sealed for me to come again. Because those people that their things were not sealed and everything, they were being trashed. Like their food stuff were trashed in front of them, and there was nothing they could do about it. If you are bringing in food, please make sure you bring. If you, are, if you just buy a new food, make sure you remove the carton and everything and hold it like an old food. Because if it's a new food, they are going to seize it for you. For me because they think you want to sell it there's a guy i had i saw another thing like there was a guy that brought a new phone and gold jewelry for his friend and um it was seized at the airport because they thought you want to go and sell it so make sure you remove all this packaging packaging and make it look like it's an old one or else they'll trash it out for you and what they said is that a lot of states are bringing in goods not for their own personal use but they want to come and sell it so they don't want you to just come and be selling goods here that's why anything and don't bring too much of food stuff if your food stuff look is like too much they're going to throw it away because they think you want to come and like cause or sell it here so make sure you bring few food stuffs and the food stuffs you are bringing are sealed don't bring fish guys they don't want to hear they don't want to see fish they don't want to see fish in this place so if you are coming don't bring fish or this fish i think fish meat all those things don't bring it they're going to trash it out for you just bring your um your normal food stuff and sealed like the best things get them from supermarkets where they are like fully sealed and you can see the not dark whatever thing on it so they will sit and like know that you've not opened it and yeah I hope with all these things I've told you guys, you will not make mistake when you are coming to Cyprus and you have a wonderful trip and if you've learned something from this, please make sure to subscribe, if you've not subscribed, give the video a thumbs up, you can check out my other vlogs, my other videos, I'm a student in other Cyprus, I'm currently schooling here and I film vlogs relating to Cyprus, like my life living in Cyprus and everything, so you can check it out, I have really fun content, you're not going to regret it okay and yeah and don't forget to share your experience if anything happened to you like maybe you guys traveled recently don't forget to share your experience so that people can learn i'll see you guys in my next vlog my next video and bye for now